Welcome back to Super Shopper. Now this is the third and final leg of my shopping journey and I'm almost dying of guilt here that I haven't taken you to an electronic store or to a gaming parlor. What am I doing on this show? Let's walk right into Chroma on Mount Road. They say you can't keep a gamer away from games. Either that or the fact that I'm a huge fan of Chelsea that I noticed this and eventually this entire gaming section here. They have so many things here that I could spend almost an entire day here. So let me just take you through what they have here. First of all, a huge collection of game CDs. You take anything. I mean, let me just quickly tell you. You have PS2, which is a bit of outdated. You have PSP, which is a portable PlayStation. You have Xbox, you have PS3, you have CDs for every kind of game and this is not an outdated collection. They have a huge collection of every kind of game. I mean, I remember this game which was released in India quite recently, WWE All-Stars, Homefront, oh my god, they have a huge collection here. And you won't come to this place. The fact is that Chroma is a one-stop shop for all your gadget needs. So you wouldn't come to a place like this just to buy game CDs. If you're coming to a place like this, you'd also want to check out the gaming accessories that they have here. A console would cost you about anywhere between, say, let us say, 18,000 to 25,000 rupees, depending on the console that you're buying. Now, I'll tell you what, I can spend an entire day here just sifting through these CDs, just finding out which CD I want to buy. For example, this Grand Theft Auto by City was the first GTA to come into town, and then they had San Andreas, which was not released in India for quite some time, and then they released this in India, and, and, and you know, you, you, could, you could realize everyone is flocking to the stores just to get a copy of San Andreas, so I could spend an entire day here, but I have the rest of the store to cover for you, so we are just going to go to the next section, which is about cameras, to find out what cool cameras you can buy here. to Facebook, there suddenly have been so many amateur photographers in the city that before you know it, all the DSLR cameras in all the stores are getting over quite fast. So if you are one of those who wants to click a few pictures, upload on Facebook, or if you are a professional photographer, you need to come here and check out the DSLR cameras that they have in store here. Now, the best part, they have something called a Best Buy. So they suggest you what is the best buy when it comes to buying a camera. You know there are a lot of options, you can, buy, you can go for a DSLR, you can go for a Digicam, a lot of options there, a lot of technicalities, which is why you need professional help. I would personally suggest that if you come to a camera store, do not hesitate before asking anyone what kind of model you should buy, depending on what model it is. Now, you can go for a classic Nikon DSLR, which most of them are going for. It'll come to you for about 35,000 rupees, which is a very good investment. Or you can go for something which is in the same price range, but the brand is different. It's Canon, it's 27,150. The advantages that you get here are you have high speed 3 FPS shooting, you have 720 pixel HD movie capability which is huge. We just spoke about cameras and check out, there's this new thing in town, it's called digital photo frames. Now, yeah, alright, so you have uh, Philips, again, the same, some the usual companies, you have Kodak, you have Philips, you have Chroma, Sony as well. So you can buy all these photo frames, these are, these are digitized photo frames, some of them are touch screen. So you can buy them for about 6,000 to 7,000, 8,000 rupees, you know, within, within the budget of 10,000 rupees. And also with that, you can buy, if you are trying to learn the art of photography, you can buy a jump start guide to photography, to better photography. Now I am not really sure if you can watch a CD and become a pro photographer, I am not really sure on that. But anyways, it's a good start, just buying a, uh, buying a CD or buying a book to photography is a good start. Now you cannot talk about gadgets in a store without mentioning MP3 players. Let us see the collection of MP3 players that they have here. It's a huge collection, but mostly from two brands, Philips and Sony. 
Let's check out the price ranges. Philips and this is Sony. Both are walk Walkmans, they would, uh, you know, pay the price range would be between 4,000 to 4,500. You won't have to spend more than 5,000 to get a very good MP3 player. Now, let us check out what else they have in store. They also have MP4 players. Obviously, the price would kind of hike up if you're going for an MP4 player. They have a Chroma MP4 player, which is uh, which would come to you for about 6,000 uh, 6, rupees. Invest more than 6,000, invest more than 6,500 for about 7,000, you would get Sony MP4 player. Now, buying only an MP3 or an MP4 is not enough. What you should buy with MP3 or MP4 are the accessories. Let us see the kind of earphones and the ear plugins that they have. Now, again, Philips, Panasonic, Sony, branded items, so they're not compromising on the quality and it would fit in your budget as well if you know which earphones to buy. Now, you have ear hooks, which won't cost you more than 1500 and 1500 you would get you would get very good quality all right you could you could go for normal earphones ear clips which are about 600 rupees but my personal favorite the one brand that you can just close your eyes and go for and you won't be risking your money is Sennheiser now these are the big daddies of earphone industry trust me You won't believe this, all under the same roof, in fact all on the same floor. You have MP3 players, you have game CDs, you have earphones, everything and now you have laptops. Not just one brand, check out the number of brands that they have here. Lenovo, Toshiba, Samsung, Compaq, Acer, whoa, huge collection. Now obviously you know that um, whenever you go to buy a laptop, you need to spend depending on the configuration and uh, depending on the screen size, a lot of things matter. So most of these laptops, would cost you about, uh, you know, in a range of say 25,000 to 50,000 depending on which company and what configuration you want to buy. And also some of these laptops, they have a screen here which tells you all about the graphics and the configuration and everything. So what you can do here is, this is very interesting, what you can do is, you can resume race and you can move your vehicle. So. All right, so this is this is like a combination of gaming and laptop. So this is this is crazy because now I can see how the how the how a particular game would play out on my laptop. That's really cool. People who know me would vouch for this. I have never shopped so much in my entire life. In hindsight, it was not a bad decision though, taking the show from Pratibha. It was quite a good experience. Although I won't tell my guy friends that I shopped for three entire episodes. Anyway, I have to give the show over to Pratibha next week because she is back in town. She'll take you on an exhilarating shopping journey with her bag full of cash. Till then, goodbye. Send me your feedback to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com. And also, do not forget to follow us on Facebook. Till the next week, bye-bye.